Good evening, sports fans, and welcome back to the HM YouTube channel. So, as you can see behind me, we're back on the British Touring Car Epic Civic. So, let me show you where we got up to last time. So, as you saw from last episode, if you haven't seen it already, click in the previous link below. So, we've got the K24 engine already built up. That's all buttoned up, ready to go. Just need to do the valve clearances now and just replace the uh, the cam cover seal. So, what we're doing, tackling today is we're actually going to finish off this engine bay. So, we're going to clean it up, just rough it down a little bit, get ready for a bit of paint. We're just going to take these uh, shocks off and yeah, these steering arms. Also, set these brake lines out or at least drop them away so I can get some paint behind them. But it definitely needs a good clean. You know, it's proper filthy and yeah, we need to be uh, spot on for paint. Quit me jibber jabber. And without further ado, let's get into it. So here we have it. All the stuff's out. Got the final bit to do. Just want to show you guys this. So because we've got canisters on the coilovers and we've got this, this nice bracket on here, which is at the front of the, the coilover. So when it's on relatively full lock, that canister versus the brake line and the looks like the brake line has lost. And yeah, there's some sizable chunks stuck out of that brake line. So we're going to have to replace these as well. Uh, these are not too bad. They're braided bits. And the rest of it is not too bad. We're still undecided whether to get rid of the ABS. Might go for something a little bit different. Uh, and on this side, we've had the same problem. So a bit looks like a mouse has been chewing at that, but in fact, it's a coil over. Yeah, so we've got to do a bit more sorting out, um, but just take these off and then we can actually start rubbing down and getting ready for painting then. Right, sports fans, we're back in the garage. As you can tell, it's absolutely freezing here. So I've got hat on, fully wrapped up in overalls as well. So what we've been doing, just slightly off camera, we've been grinding back all the seams. So everything where the, the panels join. So you see they've got spot welds in between. So well, that, was, that weren't very nice, was it? So I've just started to do a bit of seam, seam welding. So we're going to do it in the front end because we don't have roll cage that's tied into the, the shock towers. So there's some, some parts on the inside which are you know, standard EP3 fitting parts. So we're just going to seam weld them. And to be honest, that'd be enough for me. So here, made two blanking plates. So these were, I think that was for AC, maybe. Correct me if I'm wrong. That one was for the OEM cooling hoses to go through for the, the heater matrix. So I'll blank them off because we've actually got some bulkhead fittings that are going to come through. So I'm going to run the fuel lines through here, or cooling through here, and uh, fuel lines through here. Yeah, we had a bit of a bit of an accident. The, uh, where have it's gone? The... The rag caught fire. I had a stupid lid, don't do it, but there's a rag underneath here that caught fire and this was touching it. So, uh, lucky escape because it still still works, but yeah, pretty lucky with that one. Right, sports fans, since the last little clip you saw, it's now warm. So, I'm in a t shirt, no hat, and it's like, it's like tropical paradise out there. Let me show you what we've been doing because it's been a while since I last did something on this. So, here we go. So we last shown you where we got some, you know, just cleaned up all the uh, the seams. So been round and seam welded all of the the seams in here. So all the way across the bulkhead. So we got rid of the seam sealer. So I need to put some more back on because it's a it's an overlapping panel where potential water could get behind. And then we've also been drilling into the bulkhead. So now we've got fuel lines. So we've got bulkhead fuel lines to go through. Also got a bulkhead cooling. Uh, lines to go through so yeah the hexagonal one's a bit loppy but the other one spot on so that's for the anti-rotation for the uh the union we have fuel line bulkhead piece so on the inside it'll it'll feed from the inside so you'll get the the nose coming out of this hole so that fits nicely in that one you have another one here so one is for the the output of the fuel pump and the other one is for the uh, the return and then we also have these from T7. So these are, you know, uh, water or coolant bulkhead pass-throughs. Yeah, so that'll sit nicely in there, obviously with the nut on the other side. So that'll that'll poke out. So I've got one that goes to 13 mil, got one that goes to 16, and one goes to 19, which will fit nicely to the the outputs or the, the cooling lines on the, the K24. So you got with 16 and 19, or 20, 20 and 17, but We've got the lines to go on there as well. Um, so yeah, all we've been doing then is getting ready for the, you know, the fueling 
and planning where we're going to put the regulator here so the fuel pressure regulator there feed it into here cooling lines into here job done so on the inside yep yeah, it's an absolute shit tip uh so i've been welding some studs onto the bulkhead so these three for the the t7 the t7 heater box so i was actually going to delete this but I decided not to because it would come in handy for yeah any any cooler weather and get a bit more heat in the car and plus yeah maximum defrosting or demisting. So this will sit quite nicely on the studs. So that's it, it's quite nicely there, like that. So it's a bit higher up than what it was before, and plus we got rid of some gash brackets that were there previously. There were some holes which need a blanket off as well. So you see this one here? That needs to be ground back and just painted again and painted in the nice grey, very mucky grey, but and I've also blanked it off on the opposite side as well. So it's on the underside of this in the bucket area. I've had to use the an old yoga mat that's not very good at fire retardancy, but it's sort of done the job. Stop me from burning through all the harness and stuff. Yeah, so working in a full cage car, absolute nightmare. So bad back, bad legs, whacking my head off at roof. Brilliant this is. But yeah, it's all part and parcel of the game. Right, sports fans, here we have it. So all in the grey, grey rust inhibiting primer. You know, the Zinc 182 from Isopon, or Isopon, Pon. And yeah, it's all in grey now, so all the bare metal stuff has been covered up. So there's no bare metal showing. I haven't done all the, the red bit in this, so I'm just going to go straight with, well, I've keyed it down. So it's all got, got the gloss off it. So I'm just going to use some normal primer, same as everywhere else, all the red patches, they'll be fine. But yeah, you can see pretty much the majority of the areas were covered or they were you know, not covered by the normal paints. So I had to go through it to you know, do some seam welds and also there's a few bits I weren't too happy with. So yeah, so the next thing we're going to get is it. Next thing, we're going to use some white primer, simple half of stuff, and that should do the job. I've got a couple of tins of this, so all we're going to do is get spraying and get at it. Ryan Sports fans, it's a couple more days since the last update. Uh, as you can see, we're in the True Rally top. So shout out to Lee Lockwood. Uh, so let me show you what the progress we've been doing. So here we have it. So the engine bay is now in white primer. So the next thing now, we are going to use some more spray tins. So this is BMW Alpine White too. So this is probably about as close as I can get to being the, the same colour as the car. So it was... Yeah, it's a, it's a bright white, as you've seen the images before. So this is a bright white. I actually used some colour chips to, to match it up a bit better, but this is as close as I could get. So hopefully this will be the right colour. If not, we're going to have to get some more, get something else, something different. But this is just straight off the shelf from Alfred's. No doubt with the going rate, what I've been doing so far, we're probably not going to have enough. It looks a damn sight better than what it did. So even all the bits were previously ground back. Yeah, they were all nicely primed. So all we need to do is get that top coat on. So stick with us, we're gonna get some white on. Oh, another thing as well. So I've also been doing the inner arches. So the inner arches, I put it in a zinc primer. So all these bits where I went round and did a bit more seam welding and just tidied it up in general because some of the paint was, it was very similar to that, where it was all a bit rusty, crusted up. And I also made some more, well, in the previous video, you, well, you saw that this lip and this one were digging into the the tire when it was on full lock or full bump so i've knocked those bits up so i've knocked that out so that's nice and flat with the the inner arch this bit's okay because never going to touch that bit this bit was a an offending item as well so i've put hammered that up and put some more primer on that to protect it so all this is in again it's in zinc primer and all we're going to do in here we're actually going to use something a bit different. So we're gonna use some of this. So underbody seal, a bit of wax oil. This stuff will be absolutely perfect for what we need it for because we're driving it to and from circuits and also obviously round circuits as well. Uh, we might even do a Nürburgring trip. So stay tuned for that. Um, so yeah, what we're gonna do is, like I mentioned then, we're gonna stick some more white on and actually make it more white and make it a top coat white and make it look nice. So stay with us.
Evening sports fans and welcome back. It seems like it's day 9,000 because we're still at it. So we've done the paint. So all this is now white in Alpine white too. But looking at it, this colour, it looks on camera, it looks really white, but actually it's got like a, a creaminess to it. And looking at the rest of the car, this is like really bright white. It's like, a, it's almost like Honda um, Grand Prix white, which is like an NSX Honda S2000 color. And this is BMW Alpine white too. So I can see it, it's like a bit of a creaminess. So here's a part that I prepared earlier. So this is the, the passenger or left hand wing keeps smashing it about and everything uh yeah so you can see here you might be able to see it too much on the camera but the color difference so you got like a what i've just painted seems a bit more creamy in comparison to this this bright white i don't know, I don't know if you can see it on the camera but it's flashing as well i think it's the led lights that are giving it some stick but so looking through my vast array of auto color from ici these are for my granddad so he's, he was a, a body sprayer and he, he donated these to me. So I've got a full raft of these. So I went through all the automotive manufacturers. That's pretty posh, isn't it? All, all the car manufacturers. Come through as Honda Grand Prix White, which is probably the closest to this, but very, very similar, which is pretty much exactly the same, is Citroen Polar White. But also Citroen Polar White is the same as Peugeot Bianca White and also the same as Fiat uh, 249, something like that, some some paint. Uh, yeah, so that, that colour, and this is very, very, very close. It's a lot closer than Alpine White. So this on here, you can see, again, it's brighter. So I've gone back to Alfred's, because the reason why I got that uh, the, the citron colour is because half have it in the stock. So we've got citron polar white and we've got two of them, two citron polar whites and we've got a Peugeot Bianca white because it's exactly the same colour. So what we're going to do, it seems like a bit of deja vu here, but we're going to paint the latest colour so it should be a brighter colour, fingers crossed. Hopefully it's not going to be creamy and um, it should be a lot brighter white and it should actually match the rest of the car. Yeah, so let's get painting. So right then, sports fans, I've actually managed to lose footage of the final painted item. Uh, well, landscape footage anyway. So here's a jazzy filler sort of Instagram vertical video and you can sort of see what's been going on and you see the finished item. So it will be in Citroen Polar White or Peugeot Bianca White. So enjoy. <laughs> So I hope you enjoyed that little video. So what I'm going to do is wrap up here for today. So thanks again for watching. Make sure you hit that subscribe button here below. Also, hit that little bell. Not this bell, but hit that little bell symbol and make sure you see my face come up again. I know it's been a while. It's been a very long time, but guarantee you there's plenty of content coming because the car's in a good state. So I'm speaking from the future. So I'll see you. I'll catch you up think i'll see you soon enjoy and stay safe just have fun go and build some shit and we'll see you soon take it easy